it was like this. My head is back. It is so far back that I feel not like myself, but like a crane or an ostrich. My eyes are closed. And though one arm rests on the seat beside me, the other is stretched out across the back of the small blue vinyl sofa I'm sitting on. I'm in a nail salon on Broadway in Lower Manhattan. It's an Asian establishment, and I'm grateful there are no fish swimming in tanks. As I've noticed such tanks in Asian restaurants and other salons, I, I think it might be because they're supposed to bring luck. But the confinement of the fish always disturbs me. The, the closing of my eyes and the, the giving in of my head allowed to go back as far as it can, now oblivious to my surroundings, feels needed. It's a moment of indulgence. It's a moment of accepting how weary the cement has made me, the, the endless walking for the past two days in the city heat, the, the stress of a sudden downpour. I'm off guard, I realize. Unusually so. I pull my head forward quickly, as if called to attention. No, no, as if I've been reminded I'm in a public place and that I'm a mother. As suddenly as my head comes forward, I, I turn to where my daughter sits in a manicurist chair. A congenial Asian woman massages my daughter's long tapered fingers. Genuinely, they're tapered. My own, though thin, have lumpy, wrinkled knuckles, an old woman's hand since I was in college. Now I am an old woman, what to some, I guess, especially to the row of very young girls straddling their pedicurist stools as if at the starting gate of a race, <laughs> but actually just polishing the toes of their customers. But it's not the massaging of my daughter's fingers or the manicures that I focus on. There is only one real place my eye goes to, like a home in the kitchen, knowing where it always should return to. I look directly at my daughter's face, though I immediately make it into a, a momentary fleeting glance because I can see she's looking at me. I know in that one second that she has been watching me. She's witnessed my public lapse of energy, my lack of decorum. The small smile or smirk on her lips is deceptive. It's either gracious or snide. Mm. Impossible to tell. I do know my daughter. Either she's looking at me smirking thinking, look at her, arching her head like a swan, seeking attention. My mother is so dramatic. My daughter, <laughs> she thinks I'm far more attractive than I am, or at least so she often tells me. And she says I look far younger than the old lady I think others actually see. So maybe it's not a snide smirk, but that she's smiling. If so, it's with a look of approval, with a twinge of pride. But as I said, it's a deceptive little grin or an upturned grimace. <laughs> I worry that she's looking at me aware of the fact that I have passed it. I'm not young, I'm not beautiful. I worry that she's looking at me with sadness I carry enough sadness for both of us. I want to keep her from the knowledge that, that life, if you aren't diligent, can become sad. Keep her from knowing that the world won't always reach out to you as it does in your 20s and 30s when you're beautiful and sexy and young and always smiling and happy and, and willing to take life on, expecting the best, expecting it all. There's that fragmented second where we see each other. But she's not sure really if I've taken her in, I don't think. But we clearly do see each other. Since 
I made my glance to her as if on the way to view something else. Maybe she doesn't think I've noticed her stare. Maybe one day I'll ask her. What were you thinking when I looked like Lita imitating her swan in that small nail salon on the border of the West Village? Do you remember looking at me? Do you remember that we went to a salon and, and got a manicure and a pedicure? That you were in your early 30s? That the day before, we'd run through New York in a downpour, soaked and then finally laughing, ridiculous laughing, crazy laughing. The mixture of, of lightning and an odd bright light still lingering from what had till then been a sunny afternoon brightened the, the streaks of chrome and glass we could see shining, glaring ahead of us. While the paper of our shopping bags was washing away in our arms. Yes, that day, that moment, it was just like that. <laughs> 